Welcome back to the Rare Book Reviews channel. Today, I'm going on a book adventure. Because it's a holiday weekend and I have a little bit of time on my hands, I can go further afield than normal. And I'm going back to my warehouse bookstore. The last time I was there, I found really cool things and it's fun and it's always good people watching. So I'm gonna go look. I have a long list of fiction that I'm looking for to read and I have two nieces who had birthdays so i cleaned out i always keep a stack going of stuff i'm going to send them for their birthdays and i'm back down to start over so i gotta find some stuff for them stuff to read always looking for classics and special editions to keep and then as soon as i find things that end up on ebay to pay for my acquisitions <laughs> so let's see what we can find Okay, that was an interesting trip. Uh, when I got to the bookstore, they had a sign that they were not doing buybacks. They were not buying any of these books because staff were on vacation. And I think they had the backup team working. So you could see the shelves were in a little disarray this time. Uh, but I did find some cool things. And the people watching was top notch. There were a bunch of folks in there. It was nice to see the bookstore have a brisk business going. I'm rooting for them. So it was nice to see people looking for something to read. I found some cool stuff. I have a friend who, after my video about Winnie the Pooh, she told me that her additions that she had growing up, she has a box set and she loaned Winnie the Pooh to someone and did not get it back. So she was in the market and I found it. This is it. This is the Dell Yearling and she had them in this cool little box and it was like a missing a tooth, like a jack-o'-lantern with one guy missing. So I get to reunite the set. That was $1.50, which is not bad to make dreams come true. I also found this cool treasure. This is Edgar Rice Burroughs. I don't collect Tarzan books. I didn't read them when I was a kid. You gotta draw a line somewhere, but people do. And they're really interesting. There's a lot of different editions and publishers. This one is Methuen. I might not be pronouncing that correctly. This is UK. This was the original UK um, publisher of the Tarzan books. And I think this is seven shillings. So before they um, changed to the current version of the British pounds, the dust jacket is missing a little bit. But the actual trade copy, the cover, not bad. And this was investment. This was $20, which is a little bit of a gamble, which sometimes I really enjoy. I'm pretty sure that's a reasonable price. So we'll see if I can find a collector who's gonna want this guy. Um, Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote, frankly, a ton of books. <laughs> and um, I love that he eventually moved to an estate in California and named it Tarzania. And if you can find some of the, the books that he published himself on the spine, they say, just published by Burroughs, and then on the uh, title page they say Tarzania, which people really love. Tarzania? Not sure. Uh, then this was a really fun book that I found. This is Modern Library Edition. I talked about this before. Modern Library published a whole bunch of really great classics, and they tried to make them affordable, also kind of portable, kind of tiny, and they have really great books. 
and usually really affordable. This is In Cold Blood, a great book, fascinating. Also, if you're a Gilmore Girls fan, makes an appearance, one time Rory had to comment about this in her class, new genre. This is, he interviewed people about a crime and for the parts where no one knows what really happened, he kind of filled it in with some fiction, which is basically a new genre. He also, there's a great movie about him, title escapes me, but I'll put it in the notes for the video. He also um, knew some interesting authors and there's in that movie sort of illusions about who was helping who write their books. I happen to have, because I'm a fan, I have my own copy of In Cold Blood and this is a first edition. I got this in a used bookstore. It says on the title page, it says first printing. It's really handy. It's hard to know sometimes what edition things are. And the reason I'm showing you that is because on eBay, I have noticed that this book, the first edition, can sell for anywhere between $10 and $100. And also many people claim that theirs is a first and it's not. And the, this one makes it easy. It says first printing on the title page. This is that cover. They changed this eventually, so that would have been a later printing. And my pretty modern library has the modern library back. So if you're if you want a copy just to read, I think this is a nice copy with an archival cover to keep your desk jacket pretty. I also wanted to mention Truman Capote, a fascinating guy, a little quirky. He also wrote Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is a third printing, I think. I got this for fourth print. I paid $1.50 for this. It has a little moisture damage to the dust jacket, but the book is fine, and I just love having it because Breakfast at Tiffany's so cool. So, I'm happy to pass those things along about my friend Truman Capote, and I'm excited that I found this edition and I can find it a new home. And a really fun day, all to all in all, at the bookstore. So, thank you for watching, happy reading, and I'll see you next time.